I'd like to introduce you to uh, Peter and Yvonne Kierman uh, from Ilkley, who are very actively involved in um, volunteering in walking, amongst other things. Um, how long have you been active walkers, Peter, if I may? Well, I've probably walked most of my life, because uh, when we were younger, uh, our parents used to take us out at the weekends, and uh, that always involved a little bit of a walk of some sort. But uh, like most uh, people, um, from about late teens, early twenties, uh, I was probably more interested in other things like uh, going to the pub. And so <laughs> we did have a period where I did very little walking when I, I look back on it. Um, but um, I then moved to the Middlesbrough area um, in 1985. I got uh, promoted with my job with um, BT and uh, they had a, a walking club uh, after work on a Wednesday evening and it was a great way to get to know the North York Moors and to get, the pe get to know the people in Middlesbrough. So I started walking again and uh, it rejuvenated my uh, interest in walking and right. uh, so I've, I've walked ever since. Um, and presumably Yvonne, um, you share your husband's interest in walking. Yes, I've always walked because um, we didn't have a car for very long when I was younger so it was a case of you walked everywhere or got the bus and it was something that we shared in common when we first met and got together so Peter walks more than I do but I do enjoy it as well. Uh, Peter, what is Senior Show the Way? Well the idea of Senior Show the Way is that uh, it's a project um, by people aged over 50 who are interested in health matters and uh, the idea is that they talk to the friends and relatives and people they come into contact about health related issues because they're enthusiastic about them themselves then they pass this message on to the people they come into uh, contact with and so they're interested in things like healthy eating, healthy exercise, uh, well-being and uh, obviously the, the area that uh, I'm most interested in is the, the healthy exercise bit. Um, so it comes quite naturally to me to uh, talk to people about walking. Mm. Yeah. And Yvonne, I know that you obviously share your husband's uh, interests here, but how did you first get involved with, uh, with the walking groups? Um, it was Peter that got involved really, wasn't it? Yes. You um, heard about it, what, six years ago now? and um, knew that there was a group in, there was a space for a walking group in Bailden and uh, he and a friend decided to have a look round Bailden at what walks could be done and sorted some out and it just went from there and I got involved. Of course you're not from Bailden are you no, actually? No, we live in Ilkley. You, so you travel over to do your walks uh, via the train I believe? Yes, we, come, we usually come over on the train each week for the mm. walks, yes. Yeah. And have a nice walk up from the station as well. So uh, we start our walk early. So we start our walk from home. <laughs> Thinking particularly about the Bailden Walkers Group, the, the group that uh, you lead, how many people are actually in the group? Uh, there's about 60 on the register, but uh, only about half of them come at uh, any one week. So we usually have uh, high 20s, early 30s uh, come. Um, people... Uh, I have a, a variety of reasons why they're not able to come every week. Um, sometimes they're going on holiday, visiting the, the friends or relatives, or, or uh, even looking after the grandchildren, because uh, most of our group uh, are aged um, into the 60s and 70s, even some into the 80s. Uh, uh, and um, they, uh, they're always welcome to come back. Uh, sometimes they're missing for several weeks or even months uh, and then they'll come back um, they know where to find us because we always have the stay, same starting point each week uh, even though we make sure that we never do the same walk two weeks running uh, there's quite a variety of walks we can we can do around Bailden so we're very lucky in that respect. And they, they always know that we're always there every week except the week between Christmas and New Year mm -hmm. and yeah. it's our routine that people come and go as circumstances demand. If they're missing for a few weeks and we don't know why, we do tend to uh, ring them up and say, you know, are you alright? 
or have you been away or whatever. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and they're not just Bailden people, are they? I mean, the group is open to to anybody, basically. We've got probably about two thirds come from the the Bailden area. Then about a third of the walkers come uh, from further afield. Mm. Uh, but wherever they come from, uh, they're always welcome. Mm. Yeah. Um, because obviously, many of them, especially the people from outside, they they don't know the Bailden area, and uh, once they come, then they see what a lovely area it is, and. Uh, they get to know people in the group and uh, form friendships. Mm. Uh, so it's great to see that. Yeah, it is. You mentioned that you'd got an assortment of, of different routes. Um, how do you decide which route to go on on any particular day? Uh, well, we look at the uh, weather conditions first of all, uh, because some of the routes um, are more suited to when, the, when it's drier than uh, when it's uh, been raining because they can get a little bit muddy uh, in the when it's had uh, wet weather. Um, also we have a look at the people who are coming on the walk uh, because some are, are less agile than others. Um, some of them especially when they've come for first or uh, second time, mm. um, the fitness isn't as good as uh, when they've been coming for several weeks and uh, so we always tailor the walk to the, the slowest person who comes each week and uh, there's lots of ways of uh, either making the walk longer or shorter each week. So I have a, a basic idea when I set up on the walk the route we're going to follow and then we always try and get back to the Wesley Centre where we have our tea and coffee for between 20 to 12 and quarter to 12. Um, and so as we're going along the walk, um, I decide whether we can lengthen it or have to take a bit of a shortcut back, uh, depending on how far we've got on a particular mm. week. Right. And I notice, Yvonne, that uh, you usually uh, take the tail end position, if you like. Yes, my, my job is as back marker, to make sure that we don't lose anybody. Mm. And also, if there's anybody who perhaps isn't feeling 100% or has been poorly or whatever, if they're feeling a bit slow then I'm at the back to keep them company and make sure we don't get too far separated from the rest of the group. And that uh, is obviously very useful uh, in conditions such as we experienced about five or six weeks ago when we were on the moor and it was very, very misty. Yes, or when we were out that day when it was snowing and it was very difficult to see any distance in front of you that day. <laughs> there is a, a lovely photograph. Of, of the group stood by the trick point uh, on on the top of the uh, Bailden Hill there uh, mm. in, in very deep snow conditions. Yes. Yes, uh, I think it just shows the enthusiasm and the yes, commitment of the group because although it was, uh, we had several inches of snow that we were wading through, we, we still had 10 of us on the walk that week. Yeah. Uh, so nothing stops them from coming. If people want to walk, then we're ready mm. to lead it. And all through that that snowy period that we had earlier in the year, there was always somebody there wanting to walk. We never turned up and found nobody at all, did we? No. So, no. I mean, it, it was out every week, regardless of the weather. Uh, you do organise coach trips. And a recent one, about a year ago, I think, was uh, St Anne's. How did that go down? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> they absolutely love the it. trips. Uh, yes, they... They're always keen on the Wednesday walks, which are usually just up to uh, about 50 minutes. Uh, but uh, then they like having a, a change, a change mm. of scenery. And so about twice a year, we usually arrange uh, uh, to hire some minibuses and uh, we take them to somewhere further afield. Uh, we always have a discussion as a group and ask for suggestions about where people want to go and uh, then we put it to the vote and uh, the one that uh, people uh, gets the most votes is where we go right. and we, we've got a, a pretty regular form Leo now mm -hmm. we, um, we usually when we get there we uh, have a, a walk of about an hour um, just uh, obviously whilst people have been sat down on the bus and uh, they get a little bit stiff and uh, they're ready for a nice walk so we, we have a, a walk for about an hour we then have our sandwiches together and uh, a flask of tea or coffee um, usually at some nice picnic place we've sorted out beforehand 
and then uh, people have perhaps about a couple of hours of free time uh, so they can either just go and sit in the sunshine if it's a, a nice sunny day and we're, we've had quite a few of those on our trips or the, um, those who want to be a bit more active can do some more walking or some go around the shop so there's uh, time for people to do what they want for a couple of hours and then we've uh, usually have sorted out um, a place where we can all go and have uh, uh, tea and cakes together. Um, I know the, uh, the, the cream uh, <laughs> island of the uh, cream scones is perhaps not the healthiest uh, thing they could be eating, but we think they, they deserve, they deserve it, it, having had uh, made such an effort, and it's a special <laughs> occasion as well. How can you keep the costs so low, and how do you arrange transport and the drivers? Uh, well. The, uh, we keep the cost down because we hire, we're able to hire the minibuses from uh, community transport groups. So we've, so far we've used the Ilkley Community Transport and I'm actually a, a volunteer driver for Ilkley Community Transport. So it means that one of the buses is driven by myself and then uh, one of the other volunteer drivers for Ilkley Community Transport drives the other bus for us. Often it's been one of the drivers who's interested in walking themselves, so they quite like coming with us and having a walk round. Uh, but obviously hiring the minibuses from the community transport group means that there's no labour costs involved. And we just have to pay the higher charges and the, and the mileage costs. Um, and then when we get to the place where we're going, Yvonne and I always do a a risk assessment um, yeah. uh, uh, beforehand and we do a reconnoiter and we usually sort out somewhere that has, first of all has got enough room for us <laughs> uh, because obviously as we're getting around 30 people coming on our walks, um, our trips out, we need somewhere that's big enough to take mm -hmm. us all uh, and because we've got so many uh, when we go and have a chat with them we say well they're mainly pensioners and uh, We've got 30 people, it's usually a day in the week, and so they're, they're always ready to give us a discount price um, mm -hmm. uh, and put on something that meets our requirements as a group. Uh, so we get the best of, uh, best of all worlds. We mm -hmm. get we usually a separate room for us, and uh, we get it at a good price. Uh, what was the itinerary for the York trip, Yvonne? Um, it was the usual system that we started off with a walk along the river. We went down one side of the river, then crossed over the, the Millennium Bridge, which is, is quite a sight to see. And then coming back, we came back through um, it was Round Tree Park, wasn't yes. it? Which is, is beautiful with all the flowers and the ducks on the water and everything. And we sat in the garden and had our lunch. Then afterwards, it was it was a bit of a split really between sort of the men and the women. A lot of the ladies went round the shops and had a good look round and d did some spending. Uh, quite a few of the men and and some ladies too were decided they'd go and walk along the walls and look down on the daffodils that were just coming into bloom. Then we all met up um, outside the York Mu Castle Museum, which is where we had our cream tea that afternoon. Just uh, thinking about the Ilkley walk, this was different in that it involved a train ride. But why did you choose Ilkley? Um, it, it was because uh, we'd actually, several of the people who go on the walk, uh, I've heard about the bluebells in Ilkley, for, and it's famous because uh, they go all the way up, up the, the hillside, uh, starting by the river and then up to the very top. Um, and so they... Uh, people enjoy coming to Oakley, so it was, it was the Bluebells that were the main attraction. Um, we, uh, we did do it two years ago and uh, we thought at the time that it'd be nice to do a walk and invite them back to uh, our home as well. Uh, and so uh, one of Yvonne's specialities is, uh, is making scones <laughs> and uh, uh, and so uh, you thought you'd uh, yeah, uh, try them out on the, on the walkers, didn't you? That's true, yes. So after they'd had their free time after lunch, we sort of gathered them and got them back to our house. And because we had such a lovely day, we were able to put the tables and chairs out in the garden and everybody sat out there and had their, 
uh, scones and jam and cream and tea, which was uh, it was lovely. Everybody enjoyed it very much, I gather. I think the other advantage of Ilkley is that with many of them having a, a, a metro pass, mm. then they can get to Ilkley for 50 pence each way yes, uh, and uh, have a nice day out as well. And once again, we, we've done it before. We went to Todmorden a few years ago um, and uh, I think for some of them, they actually hadn't taken advantage of the, the metro pass before that day, but uh, they, they got the, the metro pass for the trip and they've used it ever since as yes. well. So, I mean, one of our, our messages is to encourage people to use public transport uh, because, once again, if people walk to where the public transport goes from, um, it's an easy way of getting them out and exercising and usually the public transport point, uh, the tracer is a little bit away from where they're going so once again it encourages them to do just that little bit of extra exercise and they don't, they don't notice it. Um, so it's beneficial um, to them because uh, it's a bit more exercise, mm -hmm. it's, it's also very enjoyable, I mean they, mm -hmm. they actually love being on the train with their friends and yes. seeing the, the, the lovely countryside that they're going through. Um, uh, so it's a great social occasion, actually on the train trip itself. And also, it, it's good for the environment rather than everybody piling into cars and driving there. And it, it makes it less expensive for everybody as well to travel to the trips. As far as the uh uh, the trips out in the Ilkley walking particularly go. Um, I mean, the woods were a little bit more adventurous than the relatively flat York route. How did everybody cope with that? Uh, they, they actually cope very well. Uh, the um, some the ground conditions were were mainly dry in the woods. Um, I'd obviously gone to um, have a look round uh, beforehand and had sorted out where the muddy paths were in, in the woods and uh, we avoided those. There were a, a couple of places where we had to use um, single planks to get across <laughs> um, some uh, little streams or ravines but um, the, there's a great atmosphere in the group and uh, people help the, the others when they need to and so when we got to these uh, tricky points uh, then there was always somebody around to help their uh, fellow walkers uh, across yes. them and uh, make sure so um, I as uh, the leader and Yvonne as the backup um, have a you know a relatively easy time in that respect okay. because there's such a great group atmosphere and uh, camaraderie between yeah. the, the walkers and uh, uh, I, I always know that uh, whoever comes on the walk, that the others are looking out for them um, yes. and that's great to see. Good. Yeah. Um, I know that uh, the destinations for your trip, Sal, is a, a democratic decision uh, within the group. Mm -hmm. um, where does the group decide to go for the next walk? Um, I think we have four choices and the final winner was we're going up to Helmsley in um, North Yorkshire. And that's. Six. June the 13th. <laughs> June the 13th, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah. Susan and I will both be on that trip because That's we wouldn't good. miss them. Um, they, they've been absolutely fantastic. Uh, how have you managed to arrange the weather? <laughs> I have no idea. But, uh, <laughs> we've not had a bad day yet weather-wise. Um, could I just say thank you very much indeed, uh, both Peter and Yvonne, uh, for, for talking to me about this. And uh, long may your walks continue. They're absolutely fantastic. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. We yeah. enjoy them too.